My name is Roger Ashworth and I'm a STEAM resource teacher at Washington Elementary School in San Diego. People ask me all the time, what, all the time what is STEAM? What is STEM? This is STEAM, this is STEM. Follow me over here. A lot of us think of science, technology, engineering, arts and math as the disciplines and how they're all woven together. But really it's a practice, it's a way of doing things, it's a way of thinking. You can see right here a lot of folks think that uh, STEM and building activities need to be associated with middle and high school. It's actually not true. We have first graders over here, kindergartners over here. We have our uh, fearless leader, our principal crumb over there, who's actually dialed in working to actually build parts to hopefully connect a bridge, some sort of apparatus. Um, maybe you were in a kid, you had wood shop or you took metal shop. It's kind of like that, but it's also as simple as just constructing your own model and creating things in your own head. Well, the majority of artists and scientists or scientists that you talk to or engineers that you talk to will tell you that it all starts with doodling, it all starts with sketching. In a sense, it really all starts with art. And then art is used in coordination with a thought process to ask, uh, find, find a solution to a problem. And usually that starts by sketching it out, drawing it out, then creating prototypes, and eventually creating the final product. That's why. Oh, I love to work with wood. Anything to do with wood, bookcases, tables. In fact, I do plan on shaping a surfboard before I leave this planet, hopefully. <laughs> it's a paradigm shift. I think it's permanent. Hopefully it's permanent because what we're trying to do is move students from being bored in school and learning how to memorize facts and take tests, which are still important, but I think creativity and fulfillment in life is a little bit more important. Therefore, I think the entire shift with the next generation science standards, the entire maker movement, the entire common core standards are all woven together as a paradigm shift to hopefully um, turn our kids back into inventors, creators, and problem solvers.